<clears throat> the hi friends today we will discuss about the time series and their components okay here after the index number in the statistics the time series analysis is one of the most important aspect today in the stock market in uh, many cases the time series data analysis are using to measure the uh, analysis okay to go uh, here particularly sensex all this type of the data we can see through time series data only so here what is time series time series generally uh, here the time series is nothing but it is a collection of data and observation of the data and after the observation of the data it was well defined the data items obtained through a repeated measurement measurements over a period of time so from one period to another period uh, when we are talking about the particular any particular aspect so that data we are collecting observing and analyzing so that is known as the time series it is a numerically data at a different point of time the set observation is known as the time series for example if you observe the production of agriculture or industrial production sales population demand supply imports exports rainfall from uh, from year to year or expenditure from year to year revenue from year to year tax collection from year to year so you like that so etc at a different point of time say over the last it may be 5 years or 10 years more than the years also from 1950s to 2022 we can see the tax collection data also okay the set of this observation formed shall be constitute a time series okay according to the morris uh, amber time series nothing but uh, it is a series is a set of statistical observation arranged in the chronological order so the data is going to be arranged in the you know, chronological order whatever the data we observed or collected okay according to patterson a time series consists of statistical data which are all collecting recording and observed over the successive increments that is from one period to so another period that is called as time series and we can say the term what are the components of the time series okay there are four important components we can see in the part of the time series okay the components of the time series are identified on the analysis of time series data over a period of time as we said already the changes that have taken place in the trends patterns movements as they often called components they are also called elements of the time series okay the components of the time series also known as the elements of the time series these uh, elements of the time series can be divided into four categories based on the data that is secular trend seasonal variations cyclical variations irregular variations so these are the four uh, components of the time series we can see okay they are also known as the uh, elements of the time series okay if you see the secular trend uh, generally the secular trend is nothing but it is the data we are collecting for the long period of time okay sometimes the data will be uh, chronologically of course the data nothing but we are going to be collecting the chronologically okay that to data may be increased systematically may be called study growth or sometimes that may be um, uh, in uh, in a different orders okay like uh, the term trend is used com commonly in day to day life in many context for example trend in land prices like uh, real estate business population this is also <coughs> changes growth rate from 1951 census to 2011 census like that and general price level that is inflation income consumption employment etc secular trend means the long term study movements in any of the activities in the economy but not short term uh, oscillations in the same activities 
okay Sec trend secular trend nothing but it is a long period not for the short period okay in the long period whatever the things we discuss maybe it may be related to population or general price level that is inflation income pattern consumption pattern employment poverty okay demand supply investment all these things we can see okay so how they are going to be changes how they are uh, uh, what is their movements in the long period uh, going to be discussed in the secular trend okay here yeah, now uh, these movements are sometimes fast towards the upwards or downwards so they may be the poverty may be declined gradually or maybe uh, it may increase gradually if increase it is called upward if it decline means decreases so it is depends on the factors responsible to the such movements okay like uh, the factors include the changes in the population technological progress discoveries and the exhaustion of the natural resources mass production methods that is um, technical progress you can say you know production function innovations okay in the business organizations and the government intervention in the economy okay broadly speaking this secular trend we can be see in two types that is uh, uh, one is linear line trend linear means it will be straight Okay, it will be systematically, it will be changed from one period to another period. That's why it, is, it, it, it will be in a straight line. And another is known as the non-linear. Non-linear, nothing but you know, it is not a straight line. So it may be curved. Okay, sometimes it may increase. Okay, sometimes it will be decreased. So something like that. Okay, this in the secular trend, we can see two important points. One is... Uh, it may be related for the long period. So, already told you, secular trend is nothing but it is a long period, not for the short period. And the second one, uh, it may go, this line, this trend will go upwards or uh, we can see the downwards. So, sometimes it will go upwards or sometimes it will go the uh, 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 downward slope. So, if the data source continues rise or fall at the same rate through the period, such a trend is called as a linear or straight trend. So it may be upward, it may be downward. So if the trend will be continued in the straight line, for example, upward slope. So uh, upward, uh, uh, the trend is continuously increasing or it may be continuously decreasing. So the, uh, that uh, it may be increasing or decreasing, but that is going to be in a straight manner. So that's why it is called straight line or linear manner. So in the data source, the rise and the fall of trend in two or three cycles is called non-linear. Okay, some, uh, some year it may be increases, some year it may be decreases, something like that. Okay, so uh, like um, uh, sometimes uh, uh, rainfall. Okay, if you see the rainfall, so do, uh, last year may be uh, increasing, from last year to this year, the rainfall may be increases. For the next year, it may be covered, decreases. On the next year, again, maybe degree uh, increases, something like So it will be not in the uh, going in the same direction. Sometimes it is going upwards, sometimes it is coming downwards. So in the, the it is called non-linear. So in case of the linear or straight trend, I, uh, we can see either uh, upward or downward. But in case of the non-linear, the both upward and downward, both we can see in case of the secular trend. That is one thing you can see. And the second one is seasonal variations. So here the, from season to season, it is going to be changes. From one period to another period, from rainy season to uh, like uh, uh, winter season, from winter season to summer season. So something like that, it is going to be changes. So seasonal variations are the regular periodic movements in business activity in a year. So from season to season, from one period to another period. So these movements originate from the nature of the uh, nature of the year itself. Usually, every year one could see the seasonal changes. That is summer, rainy, winter, something like that. As per the seasonal demand, certain goods and services will be changes. The demand for the goods and supply for the uh, goods may be changes. Sometimes it increases, sometimes it decreases. 
for example during the summer season there will be more demand for the cool drinks ice cream something like that but uh, 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 at the same time uh, during the winter season there will be a uh, less demand for these cool drinks and uh, ice creams like that so some season it is increasing some season it is coming down like in agriculture production uh, we can see uh, in the kharif season uh, generally we have the more production during the rabi season we will have the less production in general so it is not exactly sometimes so you can say something like that so that is what uh, uh, we can see uh, in the particular cases uh, here okay here yeah. like um, when we are talking about this one the seasonal variations are evident when the data is recorded at weekly or monthly or quarterly uh, or half yearly intervals uh, so because of so, uh, so, so following factors like uh, the factors that cause seasonal variations are like uh, climate and weather conditions okay in this cases we can see the changes in the climate and weather conditions such as rainfall humidity heat etc will affect the demand for the products of the industries why uh, the demand is increasing or decreasing because of this weather climatic conditions okay so for uh, uh, because of the weather condition because of the hotness or heatness there will be more demand for the cool drinks or ice creams during the summer season but at the same time this climatic or weather is going to be changes during the winter season uh, it is too uh, cool so that's why automatically this cool drinks and this uh, whatever the commodities we have the cool drinks and uh, ice creams so these commodities will have the less demand because the people will consume the less uh, during that season that particular commodities like uh, customs tradition and habits this is also so apart from the seasonal variations customs or traditions and habits also have their impact on the variations in time series data for example uh, on the occasions like deepavali that is festival or jatra like dasara christmas ramzan and new year celebrations so during this period generally the people will purchase new commodities maybe cloth so that's why uh, uh, they are go, uh, there will be more demand for the commodities uh, during the non season uh, there will be less demand for this type of the commodities like that you can see and the third one we can say the cyclical variations cyclical means a trade cycle business cycle so you can see the economics okay macroeconomics we can see so in the term cycle refers to the uh, uh, recurrent variations in the time series that usually last longer than a year and are regular neither in the uh, amplitude nor the length so generally these are going to be changes not in the within year for three years for once or four years once or five years once so this uh, trend is going to be changes sometimes it is going to be up or down okay in the seasonal variations also it will be up and down but uh, then we can see the season to season is going to be changed within the year they are going to change but in case of the cyclical variations not within the year maybe it will to change from the upward to downward it will take at least 3 years or 4 years or something like that okay the cyclical fluctuations in the economics and business are long term movements that represent consistently uh, recurring rises and declines in in activity there are four well defined periods of our phases in the business cycle namely prosperity stage recession stage depression stage recovery stage so in each phases changes gradually into the phase which follows in the uh, in the order given the uh, like uh, uh, in the diagram you can see in the trade cycle slow something like that Okay, the last one is irregular variation. So here your name itself is saying that irregular variation. Irregular means not regular. So when they are coming, when they are going, we don't know. Like earthquake, like rainfall, like a flood. So all this one. So when they will come, we don't know. So suddenly they will happen. Okay, irregular variations are also called erratic, or accidental, random. refer to such variations in the business activity which do not repeat in a definite pattern so in the there is no systematic changes here in the irregular variations 
irregular variations include all type of variations other than those according for the trend seasonal and cyclical whatever we discuss already three categories secular trend and seasonal and uh, cyclical variations other than these three if we see anything in the time series data we can see in the irregular uh, variations so irregular variations are caused by such isolated special occurrences as floods earthquakes strikes and wars so uh, they, we cannot expect no uh, suddenly accidentally they will come sometimes sudden changes in the demand or very rapid technological progress may also be included in this category okay these are the two reasons for uh, recognizing the irregular movements so irregular variations can be seen because of the two reasons one is um, uh, we can observe these uh, irregular uh, movements one is to suggest that on occasions it may be possible to explain the movements in the data due to specific causes and to simplify the further analysis so we, uh, to give the solution simply we can say and the second one is to emphasize the fact that uh, uh, predictions of the economic conditions are always subject to error we cannot predict they will be error owing to the unpredictable erratic uh, influences which may be entered so all these things uh, we can see uh, when we are talking about uh, this particular uh, thing Okay, these are the four type of the uh, trends or uh, components of the time series. We can see they are also known as the uh, what is called uh, so they they are, they are also known as the uh, what is called elements of the uh, time series. Uh, what we can say. Okay. Thank you.